everybody welcome back to our tutorial series where we take a look at the spring boot together with angular in this specific video we are going to be taking a look at uh, pagination so we're going to take a look at how we can make page requests uh, on our database for now you may have noticed that currently on our for example list endpoint when we make a request we get all of the entities we can actually see that here this is our implementation of the list endpoint you can see that we have this call to the repository where we just say find all this is actually a problem so a performance problem because if we have for example i don't know 1 million entries you do not want to fetch all of them at once you want to be able to say uh give me a certain page so page would be for example a slice of uh, all of the entries like you can slice them by i don't know 100 and the first page would be from 0 to 100 then from 100 to 200 and so on so this is something that we are going to be implementing now so for the beginning, what we want to do is we want to create a search request. So a search request would be an object that our front end is going to send to the back end with some properties. So for, for example, in our most simplest case, it would be just a page and a size. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's create a new folder here in our DTO package, call it uh, search or something like that, and create a new class called search request. Inside of our search request uh, class, we want to have two properties. One would be the size. So what's the size of our page? And one would be the page number, so like page. So let's create those. And here they are. Actually, we are missing the setters. And that's it. So we have our search request with the size and a page with our both our integers. The next thing what you want to do is we want to create something called a page request. A page request would be uh, something that we are going to be sending to our repository. So inside of this find all method, we're not going to be using this one. You're going to be using one of the other ones that are present here and uh, one of the uh, overrides that's inside of uh, I guess this one is that you can pass in this pageable but we are going to have our own implementation of it so let's do that let's create a new class called uh, uh, page request and I'm going to explain what exactly it's going to be containing as you can see here our new page request class is going to be extending the abstract page request so that's something from the spring framework and now this abstract one is asking us to uh, do some um, implementation so we have to implement some methods so let's do that and here it is and we have overridden some of the methods these three here we are not going to be using so i'm just drawing the unsupported operation exception so we are not going to be worrying about this one and for the sorting for now we are just going to go unsorted so the sorting would be you have a possibility to say uh, sort all of these requests based on certain property like for example um, a number of a vehicle in our case and the one more thing that we want to do is we want to create a constructor here that can take in the page and the size so let's do that and here it is so we have our public request where we can take in the page and the size perfect with this being done we now need to take care of our response so our response is actually something that we are going to be delivering to the to the front end currently for example on our list endpoint we're just delivering a list of uh, tos but we do not want to do that uh, this way now so we want to have some kind of uh, let's name it page response where we're going to have a list of our properties but also an account of how many we get them so let's implement that really fast so a new java class called uh, page response And here it is. As you can see, our page response has a type, which is just a DTO, so you can name it whatever you want. But here, you know um, that we are going to be returning a DTO here. 
and we are having a list of our uh, details so this is the content we have a count so this would be equal to the size of this content and we have a total count so that's how many items are uh, in total so with this being done we can actually uh, start with our implementation but the first thing is what we want to do is we want to create uh, let's call it a converter that's going to be converting from the search request to the page request so let's create uh, just a util class here uh, actually let's create a new package call it util and inside of the the util package let's create a search request search request util class And inside of this search request util class, we want to have a method that's capable of converting from the search request to the page request. So let's see how we can do that. So one thing that we are going to be taking care of here is what if our request is null? So what if we don't pass in anything? In that case, we just want to go by default, take the first page with uh, some limit. Let's call it, um, I don't know, 100 entities. So let's create a, a default limit on our uh, request. So in this case, we are just returning the page request with the page zero and default page size, which is 100. And in other case, we are going to be returning whatever we passed in. One thing that we have to take care of is what if our size is uh, zero. So it can't be zero, it has to be at least one. So um, we need to do a sum check for that. So if the requested size is uh, zero, we are going to be using the default page size. Otherwise, we're just going to go with uh, whatever was requested. And that's our conversion method. We are basically done here. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our uh, abstract cradle service. So in our service package, we have abstract cradle service and we're going to take a look at where we're going to do this implementation. We're going to do it in the list method. So uh, let me just close all of these. We can actually start from the controller and go uh, from top to down. So let's go actually to the controller. Um, let's find our abstract cradle controller. Uh, here we have our list method. We are going to be changing it. So let's take a look at what we are going to change first. First thing that we want to do is we want to pass in our search request. To do that, we can just type in something like this. And with this, we can pass in the search request and you have a possibility to pass in the partial part. So you can either pass in just the size without the page or you can pass in the page without the size and yeah, or none or both. And the next thing that we want to change is the return type. So it's not going to be list anymore. It's going to be our paged response and in our page response we are going to be passing in the uh, so again the type is a dto we can get rid of the list and let's uh, pass into our api the research request and let's jump to the api list method here again we are going to have let's go back just to copy this we're going to have this so this is going to be passed um, to the search request and the return type is going to be the page response here. Uh, let's import this. Great. Um, then let's move down to the implementation. Uh, so to the list, we are going to be again returning the page response and we are going to be passing in the search request. Great. So as you can see, uh, we have moved all the way down to our abstract throttle service and now is uh, our final implementation, what we want to do here. The first thing that we want to do is uh, we want to uh, convert our uh, page request, so our search request to the page request and pass it into the repository. For that, we are going to be using our util that we created. So let's uh, do that. And here it is. Here you can see that we have uh, in our response, we have a one page of entities. 
So this is entity page. Uh, what we want to do here is we actually want to uh, convert this to DTO, but also we want to do some check uh, to see if our uh, response is empty. So if the response is empty, we want to return an empty uh, page response DTO. So here it is, we are turning the content is an empty list with a count of zero and we are taking the total elements uh, from the page. And in the case where we are um, actually uh, have some entities, we need to convert them. So we need to get the details. And instead of calling repository find all as we had before, we are going to be using the response that we have here. So just put it there and response get content. So now we have our content here. Uh, we are, have our details. We are returning new page response. So the content is details. Uh, the size is we can take it basically from the response get um, size and response get total elements uh, are taken from the response again. Of course, here you can also do details get size. Um, doesn't really matter. So not get size, just size. Uh, it's yeah, all the same. And with this being done, we are basically finished. So we all we need to do is try it out. So let's start our application and then uh, move on to the. Um, we are not going to be implementing front end in this video, so this is something that we are going to be doing in the next one. For now, we're just worrying. Um, about the backend part. So uh, for now, we're just going to use uh, our REST request. So it's uh, just a GET request that we're going to be making. So let's go back to our browser. Here you can see uh, what we had before. So it's just a localhost 8080 API vehicles list. This should also work now, but keep in mind that the content is now changed. Here you can see what we get back now. So the previously we just got this. So this was our list of uh, entities that we had, but now we have it uh, wrapped inside of this page response where we have uh, content, which is an array of uh, some elements. We have a count, how many elements we got, and we have a total count. Here you can see that we are just getting everything. And in the content, we have some IDs. So 4, 28, 29, 30, 31. Let's say we want to get a first page of a certain size, which would be two. So the pr first page, if we are going with the size two, would be uh, these two elements. The next page would be these two, and the third page would be basically just this one. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, keep in mind that page, so the first one starts from zero. So it's not one, it's zero, that's the first page. And here it is. You can see that we got uh, the first two elements. The count is two and the total count is five. So we still know how many elements are in total. If we go um, to page one, on the page one, we got the next elements and on the page two, we got, so this is actually the third page. We got the last element and the count is one. The total count is five. And we can actually uh, try to um, not add the size. If we do this, we don't get anything because there is nothing on page two. Everything is on page zero, so the first page, because the size by default is 100, so there is only five entities. We can't go further. There is only one page. And basically, that would be it. So that's everything for this video. Uh, let's take a quick look what we uh, implemented just to uh, go over it. First thing that we did is we added this search request, which has a size and a page. We created getters and setters for it, so it's quite simple. The next one, we have a page request, which extends this abstract uh, page request. This is something that we are passing to our repository, so we just have a constructor for it, and we are not using some of the methods that we needed to override. The next thing that we have is page response. This is something that we are sending to our front end. So this is just a wrapper which contains the content, the count and the total count. And we have a util uh, class where we have some method to convert from the search request to the page request which is sent to the repository. Then of course we have changed our uh, controller API and then down to the service where we are returning the page response which is uh, of type DTO so has a type DTO passed in and we are using the repository with a 
uh, find all method that takes in the pageable, which is this um, what we are extending here inside of this one. So abstract page request. And yeah, we are doing some check on the response. If it's empty, just returning some um, uh, empty page response. Otherwise we are returning what we have found. And that would be everything for this video. Hopefully you understood it well. And if there are any questions, uh, do let me know in the comments or just write me an email or however you prefer. I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Hopefully you like this one. And if you do, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.